I guess the biggest contract that hasn't been uh, decided yet, or one of the biggest names, uh, former and, uh, NFL MVP. Well, I guess not former. He's still the MVP of that year. Uh, Lamar Jackson's coming up. Well, he would still be a former. Right? Yeah. On, okay. Well, maybe not this year, he, but pre. Um, Lamar Jackson's truck his contract is coming up. Uh, he's owed about uh, twenty three million this year, so he'll be a, on a restricted free agent next year. So, um, you know. Obviously, going into a season, we haven't started yet. We're just starting minicamp. Obviously, you want to secure a guy, a talent like Lamar Jackson. But a lot of people, I don't know, there's a, it seems very polarizing uh, in, the, in the media, the sports media. People are saying he's overrated, not worth the money. Um, so uh, how do you feel, Julian, about the prospect of the Ravens going into this season with uh, Lamar Jackson becoming a free agent? Next year, do you think they should secure him up? You should lock down Lamar Jackson, or you just let him go? Let that butterfly. You know, I feel like you were targeting me because you know my stance, Lamar Jackson. I my thing with Lamar Jackson is like, man, I don't. I get he's an amazing athlete. He's probably the most athletic quarterback in the league. He is just unbelievable with his feet. Probably the best we've seen since young Michael Vick. Maybe even better because <clears throat> I would say he's bigger. I'm not. Sh- I believe he might be bigger. I think he's he's a slanky, but he's still probably bigger than a little bit wider in the shoulders. Yeah. Maybe my one thing, man, with him is like he's just when it comes to throwing the ball, when it really comes, and you, you, we saw them try the Ravens try to experiment with this, I believe last year, where they try to get him to throw more, and then once it it wasn't really working out for them, but then they started running the ball with him a lot more, like they did his MVP season, they started winning and becoming dominant again. And that's my biggest criticism with Lamar Jackson. If once he can figure figure out how to throw the ball at an elite level to compete with these other guys in the AFC, and that's what worries me is like you have guys like Patrick Mahomes, you have uh, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, um, so on and so forth. Keep on going, uh, <clears throat> uh, Russell Wilson, and at the end of that, you're going to have to get to a point where you're going to have to sling it. You're going to get in a like a battle where you're going to have to just just like throw the rock. And granted, he hasn't had the greatest receiving weapons outside of Mark Andrews. Um, he hasn't had like an elite receiver, a pro bowl receiver, a guy who can rely on to depend on, so that could play a factor as well. But I don't know if you go and making him the highest paid. Like he is a great quarterback. He's a great talent. I don't, I don't know if you – do you pay him more than Aaron Rodgers annually? Like, you know what you're getting with Aaron Rodgers, back-to-back MVP, um, a Super Bowl champion, and you know he's one of the best throwers of the football in the history of the NFL. And I don't know if you can say that about um, Lamar Lamar Jackson, at least yet. I hope he becomes that because I think if he can master that ability of being able to run and throw like Michael Vick was able to and have that arm strength and that accuracy like Michael Vick had at times – well, Michael Vick always had a strong ass arm. He could always sling that thing like seventy yards. But I, I just I want to see more from. I don't know if I would trust having Lamar Jackson over Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen. And it's like you want to pay him more than those guys. I don't know. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Um, I still think you know Lamar Jackson definitely has value, right? Uh, in the league, I think he maybe he's not a top tier. He's not like super elite, like Hall of Fame right now. Uh, I think he's still pretty young. I do. I think the questions about giving him a, a lengthy contract are valid because, um, you know, how, how long is this game going to last? Right. He's a very physical runner. Um, uh, and how, how long is this game going to last? Looking at the stats, uh, if you look over the past years, obviously he won the uh, MVP in 2019. Uh, that was his best year. Thirty six touchdowns, nine. Uh, excuse me, six interceptions, 26 and nine the next year, 16 and 13 last year. So 16 and it was probably his worst year uh, statistically last year. And obviously he's going into this contract year where either you extend him, give him a, you know, uh, a bigger contract or you say whatever. But um, I, I still think he's still top tier. Like if even at worst, he's top 20, you know, top 15. You know what I mean? Like uh, if you want to argue if he's going to be in that top 10, uh, you know, we can have arguments about statistically if he is if he's if he's improving. Um but I still think he has value. Uh I think he's gonna get paid. Like the the quarterback position is so precious and there's like so few guys who can start in this league and this guy has an MVP like year. So we've seen uh you know some of his best years and I, honestly that was early. That was like you know two years ago, going on three years now. 
I still think he's worth the money. Now, if you're going to give this guy a 10-year, 8-year contract, I mean, I'd be like, okay, well, how about we just do like four or five? Let's, let's yeah. see. You know what I mean? <laughs> a secure something for your team. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so he's going to get paid the, you know, yesterday's price is not today's price. So obviously, there we've seen uh, people make money moves. We talked about Aaron Rodgers earlier. Aaron Rodgers made money moves this year. Uh, we'll talk about Kyler Murray who made money moves. Um, so I think he's going to command uh, big price, but like, what? What do you? What is your second option? If you don't resign him, what? Are the, if you're the Ravens, what are your second? Look, what's your second option? Like, my big. I'm not saying don't resign him. Obviously, resign him. You're not going to get better than what's on the market or drafting. He's he's a, a a quality quarterback. He's a quality player who can win you games, and that's no doubt. What I'm saying, my only thing was like, I don't know if you make him the highest paid quarterback in the league, which is what he might be asking for. I'm not entirely sure what he's asking for. Do you pay him top five? I can see that. He's young. He's, you know, everybody can still develop and become better. Like, you know what I mean? But like, I just don't know if like right now it's like how much you do. But yeah, you make sure you lock him up. Um, I can see him getting a, so his final year. I don't, do they pick up a fifth year option on him? Probably not. Right. So, cause he was a first round, probably not. Cause they're probably hoping to, ex- yeah, they probably were hoping to ex- uh, extend him. So, I think he's going to sign a contract uh, before the season starts. My guess. Um, I'm looking at maybe that forty million a year. He might get something similar to uh, Deshaun Watson, which I believe is like forty two. That's what I'm projecting. Um, but if it, I say if it's higher than that, I mean, like, I'd be kind of surprised. I'd be like kind of surprised because, I mean, he's won uh, one playoff game, I believe. Too. I'm not sure. Uh, let me put but the record. I, yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I said, you lock them up 100%. Um, I guess they're very confident they're going to get it done. I don't think Lamar Jackson wants to go anywhere, anyways. The team is pretty competitive. They really just need more weapons from him. And that's what I'm saying, too. Like, we'll see what he can do when he really has some more like weapons outside of his tight end. Um, and hopefully he can continue and, to uh, improve hey, and continue to like. Cause like I said, at the end of the day, man, you're going to have to sling that, row, especially in this conference. Like you're going to have to. I mean, we saw that that amazing Bills Chiefs game. Like that was incredible. If Lamar Jackson was in that same position, could he have done what Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes did? I don't know. Now, uh, just pull up some stats. Uh, his regular season rating uh, about an 87 in career. He's a 98.1. Uh, you know, last year, last game he played was. Uh, uh, against Cleveland, they lost. Um, but I just want to bring up, like, you know, like Baltimore has to stay competitive, right? Because you look at their their depth chart. Their backup is Tyler. They Hunt. got a good running game right now. They got a they got a decent running game and like, Brett Hundy. So so if you're not trying to secure up Lamar Jackson, like like I said, what's your second option? You have, you know, a guy who hasn't started yet, a backup. You know, bring back Joe Fluco. What is your option? You have a better option of just letting him go. I, I think no, he's going to land a big contract. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, um, and it's weird because I think also too Lamar Jackson doesn't have an agent. I think he's he's like negotiating on his own, which is like a rogue thing. Like nobody's ever done since like I don't know, like the fifties or something. I don't know. That's pretty. People are just crazy. they're they're, they're, they're their I own agent. That. So that's interesting. Uh, I think to throw in there. Um, also, you uh, you talk about having weapons. You know, they lost Marquise uh, Hollywood Brown. Uh, and then he go to it was in Arizona. Where did Hollywood Brown? Yeah, but he wasn't anything really special. He wasn't. He's a number three receiver on any other team. But you want to talk about weapons? Like either A, you're gonna run with, uh, you're gonna run with Lamar Jackson, or B, you break it all down and try to you know rebuild again. Because right now, to me, the best. Team in that division right now is still the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't care if they are uh, yeah. one of the worst whole teams and that's, to go to Super Bowl. And that's they're a prime example. That's a prime example. What do, like, what do they're going to Cincinnati's going to put up points. Like they're they're going to sling that rock with the weapons that they have. They're going. They have a young core, and you're going to have to keep up with Joe Burrow. Like we'll see what Deshaun Watson if he plays whatnot with Cleveland. Um, but that's another place. It's like. Uh, I'm not the biggest Deshaun Watson fan, but I do think he throws the ball better than Lamar Jackson. So, <clears throat> or yeah, I, talking about quarterback talent, those two are the best. Joe Burrow, 
and Deshaun Watson. I haven't seen Deshaun Watson play like in a year and a half, but I still yeah, think Yeah, we'll Deshaun see if he still got it. I would imagine he would. He's still super young. But that's just pure football. That's not even my personal opinion about him. But like what do, so what are the Ravens doing to compete? Like what are what are they doing to stay relevant in that division? Um, you know, the Steelers, they're they're trying to rebuild now that Ben's gone. Um <laughs> What are the Ravens doing to, to try? I mean, to, to, you know? they like I said, they got a strong defense. The running back room is pretty solid. Obviously, um, you have Mark Andrews at tight end. It's it's really just they need weapons, and they haven't really done anything. I mean, last year they signed Sammy Watkins, which I mean, he's not even on the team anymore. So it shows you what they thought of him. Um, so it's like, man, I, 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 that's the biggest issue. So unless they just plan on just like running, 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 running nonstop which they have the ability to with Lamar Jackson and then uh, J.K. Dobbins and um, drawing a blank on the other running back. Uh, regardless. I had the depth chart up, but I'll uh, – Gus Edwards is what they had. Mike Davis is a third backup, third string. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, they if they can just – they lean into that running game and play defense, they could take him a long way. We've seen that time and time again. Uh, that that That's a strategy, but with today's NFL getting more and more – passing oriented and then in the division that they are with the defending AFC champions. It's going to be tough, man. Um, so yeah, they need to keep them. They need to keep them, but they need to give them some help on the offensive side of the yeah. ball. 